Program Daily Business Edition tonight from Katowice, uh, European Economical Congress. And our topic right now is unusual because we'll talk a little bit about the perspective of Ethiopia. Our guest is Arya Kidane from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Ethiopia. So welcome to Poland. Welcome to this show. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. Let us say a few words about the modern day Ethiopia because uh, few people uh, associate, uh, realize the, the changes that happened over the last 30 years in your country. Well, uh, thank you very much for giving me this chance. Ethiopia is uh, one of the, the oldest nations in uh, the world. Uh, currently, Ethiopia has uh, more than 100 million uh, population, the second most populous country after uh, Nigeria in Africa. Uh, it's one of the, the, the best economic performance in the world. Uh, for the last 15 years, Ethiopian economic growth, uh, is the double digits economic growth. And uh, recently, uh, the, we have a new uh, prime minister in the government for so almost one year with uh, open economy working, attracting more investments, not only in China, India, Turkey, but also big European companies and American companies are investing in Ethiopia. The idea of the economical development is similar to the India or China, the, the, the idea that your country is pursuing. No, it's um, um, well uh, similar, of course, to some uh, Asian countries like South Korea, South Korean model, but also uh, it's, it's its own uh, economic uh, development model, uh, which uh, have similarities not only with the East but also the West. We are working both with West and East. Uh, countries. And, mm -hmm. uh, if you are uh, asking to name the strong points of European economy, of uh, the Ethiopian economy, uh, we, what, what, we, what it will be? Well, uh, the, the natural resource, of course, the, the cheap uh, or labor force, easily trained labor force, and uh, the big uh, land size, proximity to the the Gulf countries and Europe also, but uh, especially uh, the labor force is the, the, the one of its comparative advantage. Yeah. To start the negotiations, you, you came to Poland to, to find out the partnership, to talk uh, with government, but also with businesses regarding the possible mutual beneficiary trade. Uh, so, w w what you, what you found interesting in Poland? Well, um, our government is now looking uh, to establish uh, open relation with uh, Eastern and Central European countries. And uh, in Europe alone, we have uh, 15 diplomatic missions, and we are thinking of opening uh, diplomatic representation in some of uh, the European, Central European countries. And Poland is one of our uh, attentions and destinations. So we want more uh, business uh, investments uh, from Poland. And we want also to uh, export our uh, items, export products to this part of the, the world. We know our, the, the Polish people uh, buy our products uh, from other European countries including uh, Germany and uh, Netherlands. So we want to have direct transaction with the Polish people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we believe that the, the Polish economy is, is in the good shape, growing, and the middle income is growing. And we want more tourists from uh, Poland tourists to, to come and visit uh, Ethiopia. And so you would like to sell more goods directly from Ethiopia to Poland and also visit or host more tourists from our country to yes. your country. Um, you, are there any, can we tell about which specific products are, uh, Ethiopian products are being 
sold in Poland through the Austrian or German business? Yes, uh, mostly uh, our coffee. The, the, the coffee, Ethiopia is well known. It's, we believe that's the birthplace place of coffee. And uh, we also, uh, we know that our products, uh, pulses, oil seeds, and also the horticultural products, including our flowers, are uh, coming from uh, the Netherlands. And we believe uh, that would be one of the end. We, we, it's not only the export, we want also some products uh, from, from uh, Poland, Poland. We want to buy. I mean, so it's a, we believe that there are uh, some uh, products which uh, might be good for our economic development, the, the capital goods. Uh, well, uh, say the, 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 for the construction, so for agricultural. Uh, Mechanization, equipment. equipment. Yes, we have so, the, so. the Ursus yes, yes. Uh, factory know. that yes, uh, builds uh, the tractors with yes. in the Ethiopia for yes. Ethiopian market. Yes, yes, yes. So that's that's a very positive example, actually, yeah. and unexpectedly mm -hmm. um, good um, relation yeah. with Ethiopia. And uh, th that's uh, something that is the the, the 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 this is still ongoing. Yes. Yeah? So the. The Ethiopian farmers are buying the Polish tractors from the factory. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Yes, good. So we, we want to diversify. This is uh, we have now four uh, we have four delegation members. One is from Ethiopian Investment Commission, and the other one is from the Industry uh, Development Corporation. And we have also one from the private sector. I am uh, leading the delegation as uh, the, the in charge of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Business Diplomacy Director. So, thank you very much for visiting uh, our uh, modest booth at the European Economic Congress here in thank Katowice. You. Thank you. Mr. Araya, Araya Kidane yeah. from the, um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ethiopia was our guest and that was it for this part of Poland Daily Business. <laughs>